the year 2011. So here we are in my studio. Three men. Yeah! Two continents. Phil, good night, mate. One objective. Banana bread, bop dee bee dee bee. Banana bread, bop dee bee dee. Banana bread, bop dee bee dee bee. PC3 invites you to return. So here we are in my studio rehearsing and we were trying to think how can we play day and night, early morning, late nights and not make any noise. And so we've managed to do it. And I want to tell you that if you had the headphones on, what you're about to hear would really rock. But I want you to have a listen to what it sounds like, <laughs> the way it's just acoustically sounding. Okay guys, play that heavy rock riff thing you're playing. Two, one, two, three. So now, um, now I want you to hear what they were actually playing. Get my finger out of the way. Do you want to start that sentence again? Because I uh, had a finger in the front of the... With the speakers on. Start, start that again. <laughs> uh, now I'm going to tell you, show you what it sounds like with the speakers on. Now it won't be massively loud, but you'll definitely hear what they were now playing. It just takes this switch of the knob. Bit of a difference? Yeah. So it, that yeah. may not change. <laughs> What's the form of the song, Grant? Can you explain it? Absolutely. You haven't got it yet? Not yet. Oh. Alright. Well, there's an intro without the bass, but still with the hook. Then there's an intro with the bass and the hook. Then the verse starts. Right, then there's a half pre-chorus, then there's verse number two, then a full pre-chorus, then a chorus, but with the Love is the Key hook. Then there's another intro, with the hook. Then there's verse three, I suggest with a hi-hat. Then there's a full pre-chorus, and a chorus. Chorus. We don't do the Love is the Key band stop hook because then we're going straight into the post chorus. <laughs> but then we have the Love is the Key hook and go into the play out with the other hook. And so today we're going to be in three different rooms. Do you think we can do it? We better. So, uh, yeah. Three progressions. You go. You do that walk up from the. Yeah. So try a full three chorus, right? With with a couple of bars of the eight. You do it a little bit before.
Hey Phil. Yeah. I'm really sorry. <laughs> she can't come in here. <laughs> Drama's not allowed. <laughs> Remember the constant conversations we've had over the last few weeks going, man, I wish Phil was back here. Said it often, without even considering it possible that he could be here. Do you remember the conversation we had where I said, let's just spend the money, and you said... I remember several of those conversations, sometimes where I said, yeah, let's do it. No, we can't. Yes, let's do it. No, we can't. That's what I remember. And I remember at one point, one point going, you're right, we can't. And, and we looked at how much they were, how much the tickets were, and it was like, silly dollars. Finally, last question. Do you remember the brainstorm moment when we thought, well, maybe, just maybe, someone on Facebook has points that they might be able to lend us or give us and we could fly them over? Yeah, this thought that maybe someone, their job is they're a globe trotter or something. They've got points they don't know what to with and do. They've got points they don't know what to do with them and they love our band, maybe. And they'd love us to have Phil come back to the States and finish the record with us. Maybe, maybe, maybe someone's got points. So we put a post on Facebook, and uh, it, it turned from points into, well, why don't we just give you some money? And now, we have enough money to fly Phil over here. Yeah. And so Phil bought his ticket, and we'll be here in four days. That's wonderful, because I'm running here live on Veggie Light and Tim Tams. And I'm going to get my Maggie Noodles this time, too. <laughs> Absolutely. And, uh, and perhaps if you do have other people volunteering money... Just uh, perhaps ask them for money towards your I Need a Bigger Mirror uh, cause. Uh, no, I think I'm okay. I think it's... <laughs> I think it's... <laughs> Thanks, mate. So I have to put this down under because I don't want the, these to flatten my hair. Fair enough. You don't want headphone hair. Headphone, headphone hair. No. That's what it is. Good job. Thank Thanks. you so much. All right, well, I'm off. Back to your PJs. Right, back to my tummies and... Yeah. Actually, Good to see you, Derek. Actually, yeah, see it. With respect, before you go, there's one other part. It's, it, it won't take you long. And it goes... Whoa! And you want me to sing it? Well, you're already out of bed. I mean, you're already dressed. Could Welcome you... to the hotel, California. You can check out with Neville Lee. Okay. She'd like to do this for a living. Good job on those woes, mate. Whoa. Thanks for coming over. You're welcome. Thanks for pulling yourself away from the family, from the house. And... Hey, Phil. Um, right. It's just... Sit down. It's one... There is one more bit. Do you want to do it? There's one more bit. Yeah. Well, you've done the worlds. There's one that goes, yeah, yeah. Give it. No problem. For you, you reckon he'll do it? Paul, for you. Mm -hmm. It's not for that the, hard. For the trio. <laughs> for the trio. Is there something over there? So you're out of here. Yeah. That's all right with you. Hey Phil, thanks for doing all the vocal, mate. It was great. I just got one more thing. Just one more. What's that? It's not a big one. It's not a big one. <laughs> Come What's on. That? Hey. Think what we do. Hey. Just, Grant needs just a little back rub. Just a shoulder massage, maybe just a little bit. One of the things we love about Grant Noiseworthy and PC3 is that if we're looking for someone to kind of 
think outside of the box. Grant's our guy. Matter of fact, I don't think he even know what, knows what the box is. And this little vocal idea would be a really good example. Now, Grant, would you do me a favour? You're What's standing that, here in the vocal booth at the yeah, Niche the vocal Lounge. Box. Vocal box. Yeah. And, um, and you heard this little thing in your head for the third verse. Could you give us the low version as, as if you were singing it? I'm going... Is that the low doop, one? Doop. Yeah. Okay, give me the high one. Doop, 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 doop. Something like that. All right, now why don't you just come in and let's listen to it in the track. Oh, all right. Follow me in, man. I want to hear that. Let's listen to what that actually sounds like in the track because it's pretty cool. Uh, where is it? I've written Grant Idea 1 and 2. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wants to dance. I think I can even handle that louder. Hey, just solo on for a minute. I want to hear it like that, can we? You sure? Um, no. Brave man. Maybe not. What I like too about when Grant does a vocal is he does little warm up bits that go. Doo, 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 doo. He to, it's sort of like he gets ready and then he nails it. And we'll edit those out, but not right now because it's too much fun. Get yeah. this out. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> My favorite. That's something about Sesame Street in there. Okay. We are driving to Phil Keegi's house. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I um, I was doing this benefit record, maybe I don't know, four years ago for a guy called Wes King, or in America, Wes King. Anyway, so Phil Keegi was played on the, one of the tracks that I played on and um, and the producer said to me oh Phil wants to know he's got a, he's, he's redoing some guitar story he wants to know is it okay if he doubled one of the riffs you came up with because he really likes it to which the answer is uh, <laughs> Phil Keegi said what about something <laughs> I played are you kidding me hey Grant look behind you it's Phil Keegi now, right there. In front of me? Right there. This is Phil King. That's Phil King. Wow. And you know the cool thing is there's light shining out of that window and it looks rather it's celestial. Got a halo. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Phil, what do you think of the Paul Common Trio's music so far? I mean, you've been a fan for a long time, but what do you think of the new stuff? I think it sounds great and it sounds vintage as well. It sounds old and new, you know. It sounds like Kinks meets Hot Shell Ray. Whoa. Wow. Pretty, pretty impressive. <laughs> Gathering for City on the Hill. This is a song that I I, um, I sent to the producers and the record label for the title track, but they didn't choose it. That's okay. So now it's going on our record. But this song's all about the things that stop you from being together with other believers. Because the thing is, is that, you know, like, church has become a lot of different things, but it, I guess it's, at its purest, it's, it's us gathering together. Share stories, connect together, pray together, sing together. I mean, it's really kind of the purest form of what it is. And that's what I like. In its varied forms, all denominations. But when it's, when it's right, it's just amazing. Come join the gathering. Come join the gathering. Lay your burden down. Phil, update? Well, uh, here we are in Nashville Airport, B&A as we like to call it, and um, Paul and I 
All right, sorry, back to you. Well, we understand that uh, our missing band member, Phil, has landed. And uh, much thanks to the uh, serious fans of the Paul Common Trio, the band will be united here to finish this record return. We're expecting to see him walking along here soon. He's coming. He's coming, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. Oh, he's half the man he used to be. Ladies and gentlemen, I spot Phil Gordian. Here he is. And clear. There he is. Look at him. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Look at him. Here he comes. He's made it. He's been traveling for 30 hours. Phil. Welcome, mate. Oh, Phil. You're coming to get me. He's sitting on. Hey, buddy. Great. Good to see you. How are you, buddy? Hey, mate. Good to see you. Welcome. Courtesy of Facebook peeps, welcome to the yeah. USA. Oh, see, that's what welcome to America. <laughs>